Hello, I'm Rebecca, a vet at PDSA. If your dog is showing signs of anal sac impaction, the vet or vet nurse will have a feel just inside your dog's bottom to see if they can feel enlarged anal glands. If you think of your dog's anus as a clock face, these glands sit at approximately the 4 and 8 o'clock positions. The vet or vet nurse will wear gloves and use some lubrication to make the examination more comfortable for your dog. The anal glands are generally the size of a small grape, so we will be able to feel straight away if they are bigger than normal. Once we can feel the enlarged anal sac, we'll give them a gentle squeeze and usually collect the liquid that comes out into some cotton wool. Usually the secretion that comes out is liquid, but it can be quite thickened sometimes when there's a problem. If your dog has a problem with their anal glands, an easy but effective thing you can do to help them is to add fibre to their diet. You can do this by, for example, adding a small handful of bran flakes or Weetabix to their normal food. This helps to bulk their poo out a little and empty the anal glands as they pass the stool. If your dog is showing any of the signs discussed, such as scooting their bottom along the floor or licking at their back end, it's important to take your dog to the vet without delay so they can have a thorough check over and have the anal glands emptied if necessary. I hope that's been useful. For more pet care tips, take a look at our other online videos.